Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I've had a lot of emails and requests through the website for more videos on the Tormach. I wanted to combine a few of my favorite things I use on the Tormach. I've got two of my favorite end mills. This is a half inch roughing end mill from Maritool and the other is a high quality 3 8 inch finishing end mill from Niagara. I'm going to use these two in my new high speed camera that shoots at 200 or so frames a second to take some cuts on this chunk of 6061 aluminum and see what we get. And to calculate these cuts, I'm going to use one of my other favorite go-to things in the machine shop, which is some software called G-Wizard. G-Wizard has many awesome and very helpful features. My favorite though, what we'll focus on today is the feeds and speeds. We've got a piece of aluminum, the carbide end mill, half an inch in diameter, three flutes, the stick out is only half an inch, and it's a roughing end mill. We're going to cut down 0.25 inches with a 0.375 width of cut. Now what we want to do though is use a great feature of G-Wizard which lets us tone down the cut uh, aggressiveness. Tormox are great machines but they're not 10,000 pound uh, Mori's. And what we'll start to see is G-Wizard will help us understand the material removal rates and the horsepower required to make that cut. Tormox optimal horsepower is a one and a half, but that's only at about 3000 RPMs. And I happen to know with this cutter that I like to run it at 2800 RPMs. And that gives me a 28 inch per minute feed rate, which I tend to do. I tend to back that off down to 25 inches a minute. Okay, here's a behind the scenes look. I've got my high speed camera set up. I've got the lights set up and the block ready to go. I typed in my G code in Mach 3 and I'll hit go. And let's take a look at the uh, high speed footage. Okay, now let's take a look at that Niagara 3 8 inch end mill. 0.375, two flutes, stick out inch and a half. It's not a rougher. One inch depth of cut, but only 30 thou width of cut. And we don't care about the RPM limitation because the horsepower will be quite low for this type of cut. So we will want to run it at high RPM as we can, which in the Tormach is 5100. And if we look at where we are, this looks like a 15 to 22 inch inch per minute recommendation from G Wizard. It's recommending that we climb mill as well. That is important. And while not the point of this video, something to consider is if you're looking to push material removal rates, cutting with a high depth of cut and a shallower width of cut can not only have a more efficient use of the machine's horsepower, but it can extend tool life because you're using a much greater percentage of the end mill itself. Finally, and I'm very important when you're cutting uh, so deep with a relatively thin end mill, is to look at the deflection. Two ten thousandths of an inch is fine. That's all for this week, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of NYC CNC. If you do, please subscribe and click like or comment below. If you're interested in either of the end mills I used, the Mary Tool one I highly recommend for the Tormach. Its information is here. And the Niagara end mill here, which is a great end mill for high quality side finishes or deep pockets, is available here. That's all, folks. Enjoy. Thanks.